here, here's what I here's what I, I have an issue with. We're telling people there's not enough freight. With freight demand, you don't need trucks. The, the, the need for trucks are at a 22 month low. But on the same token, we're telling people, oh, by the way, spot market freight is declining, but contract market freight is at an all time high. So I thought we didn't need trucks. Mm -hmm. Do we need trucks? We just want to push them over to the contract side and we just don't want to tell the small guy how to do it or, or, or we just don't need trucks at all. I'm confused. Do we not need trucks? Or do we need trucks? Yeah, we need trucks. And I'm right there with you where I think it's the not pushing it to the small guy on how to do it. You know, like uh, like at the end of the day, that's you know, because it's like, dude, here's here's another thing, too, is it's like and this was in I don't know what article I had saw this in. But I did recently see, and hell, it might even be in this one just a further down, that last year, shippers were pushing out partial loads as full truck loads, which then classified it as a spot market shipment. And now, due to rising diesel prices, they're not doing that. They're waiting to turn that into a partial shipment because fuel, for the most part, with a lot of these large enterprise shippers, which again, I don't know this for a fact, my assumption is is a lot of this data comes from large enterprise shippers where fuel surcharge is a pass-through expense um, uh, onto them. Therefore, they are not going to send out three partials on three on three dedicated trucks anymore. They're going to wait and put it on one and make it into a one pick three drop load to, to lower their fuel bill on that. That is, again, that's just my assumption based off of the information that I had saw out there. So again, that is going to negatively affect the spot market uh, that, that's going out there. Um, just that that's, I just wanted to kind of put that little bit of caveat in there. Um, and then here's a, like, this is uh, one food shipper said it was receiving more cold calls from freight brokers than those brokers having to seek capacity for shipments on their own fucking freight brokers cold call in every fucking market. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> let's, let's be real. That's that's what, also, if you think about it too, in the last year, when you talk about the amount of people that have, have went into trucking entrepreneurship, we've got a lot more new freight brokers out there that are kind of yep. getting, out there and getting their feet wet. That's not a, that's not an indication that people are desperate for freight. It's an indication that, Hey, that side of the marketplace on a non-asset side, people are getting more interested into that and really trying to get into that market.